This is in no way my attempt to justify my comic book obsession. And this story, I really, really like. Artwork, the storytelling. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Pull List. My name is Travis, let's talk about Revival. As you can tell, I'm finally back in my own apartment and also that this is a Pull List video going up on a Friday instead of a Wednesday. It's an unconventional video for an unconventional week. But let's talk about Revival. Revival was a horror noir series which was published by Image Comics. Written by Tim Seeley with art by Mike Norton, it quickly became one of my favorite comics back in 2012 when it came out. In a rural town in Wisconsin, the dead have come back to life. Now, when I say that the dead have come back to life, I don't mean that they're mindless zombies wandering around craving brains. I mean, these are friends, loved ones, who have died, who are now back, exactly like they were before they died. Sorta. The town becomes divided with these ideological differences on what exactly happened. Is this the work of Satan? Is this the work of God? Is this some freak mutation? Well, this creator-owned series has just been optioned as a live-action feature film by Shutterglass Films. The announcement was made at a panel at C2E2 over the weekend, along with the release of a proof-of-concept trailer. You know how Deadpool had proof-of-concept footage that was leaked before the film was actually going to be made, just to convince the studios to go ahead and make the film? It's sort of like that, except Shutterglass is going to make the film. I'll go ahead and link the trailer down below so you can give it a watch. It's pretty interesting, but because it's a proof of concept trailer, there isn't much information, except it sort of gives you a general vibe on how the movie might be. The film will be written by Sarah Fisher and directed by Luke Boyce, and Norton and Seeley will stay on the project as producers. Seeley says that he's a fan of the partnership, saying that independent comics teaming up with an independent film production company just makes sense. But this isn't the first time that a live action revival has been in the works. In 2012, the year that the series started coming out, Norton and Seeley were approached by multiple major networks who wanted to make a revival television series. But since ABC decided to move forward with their own show with very similar themes, a live action revival was ultimately put on the back burner. But now, after teaming up with Shutterglass Films, filming will begin in early 2018, and I am very excited for this. When Revival came out, there were a few other zombie comics at the time, but Revival was able to stand out because of its new sort of twist on the zombie genre. It was able to distinguish itself because of its compelling psychological themes, its religious fervor, and the murder mystery that goes on. Revival was also nominated for multiple Harvey Awards back in 2013 for Best New Series, Best Writer, Best Artist. I feel that it's definitely deserving of some sort of film adaptation, but I'm just wondering how much of the story they're going to put into the film. The series ended at 47 issues. Maybe a trilogy? I'm hopeful that the film will do the series justice, and seeing how Norton and Seeley are both still attached to the film project, I feel that it will be done right. And seeing as how excited I am about this film, I'm gonna give this comic away to one of you guys. If you leave a comment down below, any comment at all, I'm going to randomly pick one comment and message you about your shipping info so I can send this comic off to you. This is actually the Phantom variant of issue number one. The normal cover had a little less blood than this, but this 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 is a this is a good book. In the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on the proof of concept trailer. If you know anything about revival, if you're excited, if this is a new thing for you to hear about, are you excited to read the book? Anything and anything and anything at all. Anyway, that's it for this episode of the Pull List. My name is Travis. Thank you for fueling my comic book obsession, and you will see me on Monday.